Any query or any question from yesterday? Mm, no, no, not yet. Yesterday we were discussing this DCN. Yes. And uh, customer traffic versus DCN traffic. DCN is the management traffic. Correct. Management of infrastructure, not the customer. Infrastructure. Yes. Yeah. So all this we discuss the architecture mm. of this NMS planning flow. So this is nothing. Mm. Like NMS planning is like a signal flow for a customer correct. as well as infrastructure signal. So management correct, correct. signal flow. So same thing. Now coming back to this uh, layer deployment. So if you will check it out, since last two discussion we covered this slide, this slide, mm -hmm. this one. So now some right. here summarizing here in this slide. So bottom layer, any layer. Second and third and fourth we merged it. Second and third we merged it, and fourth and fifth on a one layer. So here in this case, whatever three. Oh, sorry, sorry, could you please repeat that? Here, it was five layers. So we merged the second and third. Fourth and fifth is the one. See here. So majorly three sections only. Why three sections? Did you remember this one? This one, PMN. Yes, yes, yes. PMN says three only. So ultimately mm -hmm. three only. Okay. Yes, expansion is actually is this. Actually is this as per physical inventory. This is mm -hmm. local inventory signal mm -hmm. combining all this as a consolidated. This is the mm -hmm. scenario. Okay. Okay. So combination of both physical and uh, logical. Logical. So, logical. Okay. This is the actual one. Correct. Correct. Okay. Can you show me the other ones? Sir, once? Other, others also. This one? Yeah. The, this one is physical. This one we started, this has been designed by the global standard TMN forum. Mm -hmm. This is called TMN framework. TM, TMN. Mm -hmm. uh, TMN. Telecommunication. TMN, TMN, yeah. Uh, TMN framework or forum generally we say. Okay. This is for physical connectivity, inventory. Mm -hmm. Physical connectivity. This, mm -hmm. this is for logical connectivity. Connectivity or inventory or logical resources. Mm -hmm. And clubbing all this physical and logical, this is the actual based on TMN here. Based on one layer, mm -hmm. layer and three layer. So based on three, mm -hmm. this is one layer one, layer two and layer three. Layer three. Oh, okay. Not nothing OSI layer means structured layer. Okay. Understood. So th those are only breakdowns. So this is hmm. the actual one. All right. Now at the bottom you can check it out. SDH, WDM, OTN. Now you understand what is this? Understood. Understood. Got it, sir. Got it. Switches, router, hmm. M MSN and FTTH is basically nowadays fiber to the home. You heard fiber to the home. FTTH. FTTH. Okay. Fiber to the home, broadband. Mm -hmm. So this FTTH is basically broadband. FTTH is broadband. Okay. Ha, fiber to the home. Fiber to the home. Hmm. And what is XML, sir? XML. To the... M okay, coming on this. Here there is another word MSAN. MSAN. Yes. Access network. MSN. Sorry, you sorry, your voice is breaking. I don't know why. Yeah. Hello. See, now, now it's okay. Oh uh, yes. Uh, M San stands for multi uh you can say multi station access network means basically I'm not remembering exactly multi okay, okay. Well, something like that. But this M San is a very important part. Earlier uh, M San is basically a serving uh, voice, voice data. Mm -hmm. Once we say voice means all technology in the voice. And what are the technology? VOIP, you know already. Yeah. SIP with help of SIP protocol. SIP. Second one is the plain telephone calls, plain old telephony system parts. Third one, have you heard BRI line, PRI line? No, sir. From EPVX in the office. Uh, EPVX. Yes, EPVX. Or Avaya. Office. Avaya. Yes, Avaya, Avaya. Ericsson. Avaya. So how they are connected? How they're carrying the voice? They connected on BRI line, PRI line. BRI line. BRI, BRI, basic rate interface, primary rate interface. Basic rate interface, any primary EP rate. Yes, any EPVX needs either BRI or either PRI line. Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. if 10 person, if 50 person wants want to call to do 50 lines, yes. sir, one, one, one moment. Huh? Okay, I mm -hmm. think uh, there is some voice break is happening. I was saying this uh, M -San. M San, yeah, M San is basically a voice handling service voice data handling, yeah. Yes. So this M San supports all technology on voice on voice. Ports, you know ports? Ports, uh, you told now the old phones. Yes, like a BSNL in India, they were providing from ringer tone, landline. Oh. <laughs> so this phone, ports phone, or you can say PSTN line. You heard PSTN? Yes, PSTN I have heard. Yes, so if I want 50 lines, that 
50 users at the same time. So that means we required 50 lines. Correct. So to, to remove this 50 lines, it has been introduced like we discussed multiplexing yesterday. Yeah. EPVX mm -hmm. from Avaya, Nokia, or many players are there. So this EPX connectivity is happening via either PRI line or PRI line. Okay. Or EP, EPX or EPVX? EPVX. EPVX. Okay. EPVX. Or BRI. Oh, PBX. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I heard this PBX also. Yeah. Hmm. So connectivity via PRI and BRI. So only one cable will come. Logical channels will come with BRI and PRI rather than 50 cable. And 50 users can connect with help of EPBX. So once okay. PRI line is connected, your N number of users <coughs> and you can connect here like that way. So there is no, I mean, here it is like um, using the multiplexer. Uh, uh -huh. EB EPBX is multiplexer for you. Oh, EPBX is multiplexer. Uh, for voice calls. Rather voice than carrying calls. 50 cables, I will carry one to the to the uh, exchange. And end user, yes, you can connect in the office on the desk, desktop, various landline phones. But here we don't require mm -hmm. cables. We require only one line, PRI line or BRI line. Okay. Okay. So this is another, another one. Third one, VOIP call. Yeah, or oh, that lands on SIP calls. Yes, SIP is the protocol. SIP is the protocol, yeah. Yes. After that, simple IP call. Voice, simple IP call. Next one, 2G call. Next, 3G call. 4G call. All are supported. Via MSAN. Okay, all these are supported by MSAN. Yes, earlier what was happening, devices were different, different, different devices. So what industry did, rather than deploying 10 different, different devices for the different 10 different PowerPoint, 10 different spaces, they mm -hmm. get one device and provide all the interfaces on the single device. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So rather than 10 device, now you can deploy one device, and from the one device, all services you will get. And all these are fiber optic cables or how is it, sir? Opt yes, fiber optics, mixed optics. Fiber optic. Look, mixed, fun mixed. fundamental is, if mm -hmm. it is a 100 meter, 200, 100 meter, less than 100 meter, or meter. less than 100 meter, within the premises, all are copper, mm -hmm. one kilometer, 10 kilometer, all are fiber. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. yesterday you gave me the difference, yeah. Yes, simple, simple fundamental. Mm -hmm. Less than, 100 meter meter is all copper mm -hmm. generally and rest all are fiber so you got this so less than 100 meter is mm -hmm. copper mm -hmm. rest yeah. is fiber. have you have you heard cat 5 no uh, no no cat 5 cable no no coaxial cable in your coaxial cable uh, yeah. yes like in your desktop in even at your home you, if you want to connect your laptop with uh, any Wi-Fi router, not via Wi-Fi, via cable, what cable you will use? Uh, those uh, LAN cables, what we say, right? Ah, the LAN cables is made of, made of copper. Ah, uh, CAT cable, correct, correct. CAT 5, mm. CAT 6, right? Oh, mm. So oh, these are, okay, okay. yeah, so these all are less than 100 meters. Oh, okay. If more than 100, then all are fiber. Fiber. If greater than 100 meter got this point understood so already we discussed oss part of mm -hmm. our application this is mm -hmm. part of application and servers mm -hmm. part of this is part of equipment any layer correct so in previous slide we were here did you remember this one dcn network yes yes and uh, dwdm we spoke o about o it. oss interconnection planning fifth and sixth OSS interconnection uh, that yes. is uh, service with uh, protocol required right with what correct. protocol is required correct so here we have two hand shaking area this mm -hmm. area is one this area is two two correct how we will do this connectivity and signal flow that we need to understand 
So generally, this portion here to here is called SBI. South, okay. south bond interface. South bond. Bond. Yes, bond. South bond interface. Okay. And this area from here to here. North bond. Yes, north bond. So these are the nomenclature mm -hmm. and uh, different protocols required to handle different EMS section or technology. So that we will discuss in further slides. So here XML, CORBA, SNMP, FT1 and TL1. These are the protocols works for NBI. Either one depends on the functionality what you choose you choose this one you choose this one you choose this one as per that basically it is configured in a different way you're trying to say yes now mm. see this one now let me come on a previous slide see this one ems are different 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 ems yeah 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 here correct correct different so handle this one here we require different protocol here yeah, yeah. different protocol here we require different protocol that's right and that's why xml corba ems mentioned mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so did you remember why ems now you know already why different different ems because different yes, protocol, yes. different database different database different information yes, uh, yes. because so, uh, we cannot use nms that's why we go with the OSS part, uh, which will actually uh, so service layer, which will actually make the groupings of same type. Uh, that's what that's what yeah. uh, make mm. the grouping grouping of the same type. Mm. Mm. For efficient handling of data. Mm -hmm. So now here again, uh, two protocols, NBI protocols, we already discussed here SBI. We have SNMP. Mm -hmm. You heard SNMP? SNMP V3, V2, SNMP. Mm -hmm. uh, V2 or V3, V2, version. V2 is version. Hmm. Simple network management protocol. management protocol. Yeah, yeah. That is where we the actually the configuration exactly happen. You will, yes. uh, I mean, yeah. This is your. You have a manager who will be actually configuring in different different areas. Correct, it's correct. Different, different, different agents. It could one would be your port, or one would be a server, one would be your router. I mean, port. Correct. So SNMP protocol. When we required, we required. <clears throat> once we do, once we do point number six and point number four. point number and point number. Got it. Point number? Point number five and point number six, NBI and SBI. Okay. SNMP. Point number, sir, again, same thing. Uh, mm. Point number five and point number four. Six, six, six. Six, okay. Six. Mm. Because SNMP, Corba, all, they are nothing related to customer traffic. This is only connectivity between interlayers communication. Mm -hmm. Interlayer. Interlayer means any layer to NMS layer, NMS layer to OSS layer, and vice versa. Like S Plan, mm -hmm. you worked on S Plan. You know, S Plan is the in, in, they are at in between or on top of OSS. So S Plung is the middle. Any OSS connected to S Plung. So in this case, all this XML core by SNMP only involves in interconnection. Oh, okay. okay. Customer traffic will not come. Okay. They will not control any customer traffic. What mm -hmm. they, they will control interlayer only. Yes. Uh, internal. Infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Infrastructure management this information to and fro this information to and fro and this one and to and to and fro but infrastructure only but customer traffic is running from here to here only <laughs> this is my management internal management this is my customer traffic so customer traffic is not going upwards 
you got this signal flow yeah yeah, yeah. so protocols whosoever working on top of layer 2 or layer 3 they are only for the management of the infrastructure once we say management means physical infrastructure management and logical infrastructure management since we discuss resources are two types physical resource and logical resource same thing we discuss yeah okay so now see here application side since this is uh, we will not go too much discussion in this uh, software architecture but yes mm -hmm. from point of view i can discuss uh, here once you deploy mm -hmm. once you deploy mm -hmm. there are different different services different different mm -hmm. services different services means see msan sdh wdm OTN, router, switches, 2G, 3G, different, different equipments are there, correct? Mm -hmm. So different service modules will be there. Mm -hmm. This architecture inside the server applications are running. We don't need to go too much because this is a software development site. They are doing application mm -hmm. development. From here, mm -hmm. we need to understand all our different, different processes running inside the server. So did you remember we discussed your server involves in too much processing if we execute any analytics, correct? Mm. Something we discussed? Yeah. So here, see the blocks. Every block is a process. So they will consume your CPU process. Server. That's right. So that's why more and more analytics means more and more blocks you are going to add. Ultimately, it's a physical hardware. There is some limitation. So rather than loading EMS, EMS, create another server like a OSS and there you put the analytics basically a parallel infrastructure you create and decentralize the logical process did you got this point i'm trying to, yeah simply two thumb rule physical inventory logical inventory correct yeah, yeah physical inventory you can control outside like a physical inventory means being a person you can see you can find out you can control but logical inventory you cannot control you cannot control so that means we need to create an application who can application control. yes we can execute some command via application that application will control inside the logical that's right so these are the processes we create to control logical resources so grouping tdm wdm packet so different different fault diagnosis so different different processes and with help of Kurva and snmpc ndi framework we can access hmm. we can access yeah uh what does uh, xml xml is that uh types are there xml corba snmp tl1 ftp okay what what does corba stands for common object oriented brokerage something agent like that didn't remember common object recurring broker agent something okay, like okay. That. yeah because i remember one uh when i was doing my computer organization that was long back that was a uh, common object uh, request uh, uh broker agent. architecture ah, broker architecture yes broker architecture yes. Ah, it's the same curva it is same curva same same curva yes okay. yes yes, yes same but curva. but we add in like uh, binary uh what do you say that uh binary codes we use yes yes basically here look curva is not widely adopted in all the application this core is only for where nms or ems application requires otherwise in general, oh, okay. industry core is is a very limited use connectivity between the layers in telecom mm -hmm. domain only correct correct, correct. not used like a java c and all mm -hmm. and uh, this one xml is your markup language is it the same one yes in this portion here this one. yeah have a look for a few seconds this is third so I hope you will able to understand. Same as Plunk. You remove the word I manager, you put it over here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Understood. Access network. These are the any access part. Any mm -hmm. layer. So as per this, different different protocol at the SBI. Yeah. And on NBI, XML Corba. XML Corba. And uh, for user radius, these are the authentic authenticity. Authentics yes so you can say security security yeah, yeah. sock sock knock or any other oss huawei i manager these are the knock but one syslog radius server this is this is my sock sock yeah generally if security. it is a limited very small uh, platform then knock sock is a common but once is a mm. who's uh, like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, like so getting secured is uh, access via. Then secret. we have to bifurcate separately. Yeah. Yes, so this is a soft. Otherwise, the system will be hacked. Mm, correct. 
because nobody can enter via OSS or via transmission side network. Only he can enter via this way uh, from left left hand side architecture. So I think because because of your first mm. uh, uh, what do you say mm. diagram uh, mm. before explaining mm. that access aggregation core and uh, pop. Mm. I think that is stuck on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and that that is making uh, like if I even if I was actually going through some videos today, mm. so I was watching it and that 4G, uh, the 3G, 3G and 4G thing was there. Mm. So there also it, it clearly gave me an idea. Okay, there are like a lot of terms being used, mm. but uh, the di diagram was very clear for me. Okay, this is mm. what is the core area. This is what is the aggregation yes. part and how what we need to look at it mm. so that was that was some correct correct so here in this case let me remove also which is not relevant this is again a deep dive of this slide why you require to understand this one once we go for the integration for a 2g 3g and 4g or 5g this will again come into the picture okay because ultimately whatsoever network you are going to deploy Ultimately, you need some management system. Correct. Once we say management system, that means we have the layered approach as per the standard of TMN. Mm -hmm. So these are the TMN. So see, what are the options? This is clearly for physical inventory, logical inventory, combination of NOC, combination of SOC. So please have a look for a few seconds, then we will discuss. Same thing with refer to, uh, with refer to this one, mm -hmm. this one. Okay. So first, focus on the physical inventory. On OSS, different different servers are there. Basically, it is bifurcating uh, from the previous. Yes. Slide. So and all you are only this... adding. Uh, yeah, there's mm -hmm. one more thing getting added. That is the CS part. Uh, that CS also. I mean, I think they have their own features. The transmission OSS software or I manager separate. Right. That is like your database and all. So all this alarm inventory service provisioning OSS NMS has the functionality. He can do no need. Yeah. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. But what was the thumb rule? Don't involve your NMS in too much intelligence. Let him intelligence. Let him collect only the information as a master. Information. Let him let it be like a master database collector. That's it. Because he is the owner of data. The rest understood. Are not understood. the owner of data. So here I manager is the knock. Here triple A servers server NMS log any log. These are your SOC with help of SOC. SNMP. Yes, SNMP. Yeah, yeah. network security. <laughs> so here all security you need to deploy. This is the only portion where, where anybody can enter and hack the system via, uh, from net. Correct. Rest and on the other side, you have mm. device mm. information. Correct, correct. And rest other devices in a closed premises somewhere. So nobody can enter without breaching the security, physical security. So see, uh, XML, text, TL1, script, MML, here, uh, that is on the NBI side, SBI side. NBI side. Mm -hmm. uh, SNMP. SNMP. Mm -hmm. XML. What is MTOSHI? MTOSHI is multi transport operation. Uh, no, no, what is the feature of that? I mean, MTOSHI. MTOSHI is the protocol suit which is combining all sort of protocols in a one package. Mm -hmm. I will support transmission. I will support data. I will support video at one platform. So, this is the group of protocols. Mm -hmm. Group of Protocols, M2C 2.0. So you're saying, yeah. okay, you're saying the grouping app, I mean, so here the grouping happens, but individually happens for their uh, yes. individual applications. Yes, providing platform. Providing platform, oh, sorry. Uh, Multi-transport. platform. Multi-transport. Multi-transport, okay. Hmm. Open a standard interconnection. Multi, yeah, I think this is the most to... common hmm. word, no, sir? Hmm. Common. Yeah, this is the most common, I've seen this. Yes, as plan. Whosoever will develop and connect, definitely mm -hmm. this word. So that's why I said don't don't interpret only Huawei I manager. You interpret any global application. Mm -hmm. So logic is physical inventory, logical inventory. We need one in NMS who will manage physical and logical both. And here, knock and sock will be divided as per the role because all the sock activity we can do on NMS as well. We don't require separate. But yeah, yeah. It the, depends on mm, this if is the, the numbers planning. are increasing. Yeah, if the numbers are increasing, we need to definitely uh, keep it separate. Yes, let LMS involves in data collection only. That's it. Mm -hmm. Best work depends if it is a big volume, make it separate and connect it with help of NBI and uh, Yes, I wanted to know this. So I was about to ask this question. Hmm. So for uh, the same, I think you already explained. 
so mm. if the like you said uh, if the server is actually uh, overloaded like nms is getting overloaded can we have two separate nms uh, as a layman yes i can say yes you can have separate nms but uh, separate what is the understanding of separate nms see uh, on the load understand. balancer if on the load balancer if if uh, if it is uh, if it is beyond the limitation Okay. When we what spoke, does it uh, mean beyond the limitation? Define actual. Beyond the lim- okay. This, so beyond this the- is like if any mm-hmm. management guy write this word MBA guy, mm-hmm. fine. But being a technical person, what exactly? Ah, okay. Referring. What okay. component the, you are referring? Uh, uh, NMS is uh, if like uh, okay, okay. I understood. Here the EMS part also comes into the picture. Now I understood. Okay. Let me uh, tell you this. So no, uh, stop, NMS- stop, stop. Hold, 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 hold. Please understand the question. Let me reiterate your question. You. You say my NMS is getting loaded. Response is slow mm. due to overload. Mm. This is the line. Any non-technical person, right? This is fine. But mm. as a technical person, how you interpret this line? So to inter- okay. uh, or interpretation, please. Uh, uh, sorry. First, listen this line. <laughs> interpretation. Please keep in your mind two line always. First line. Mm-hmm. What NMS is controlling is the physical inventory and logical inventory only. That's it. So that. Mm-hmm. Overloading means either your physical resource will overload it or your logical resource will be logical resource will, will be overloaded. Yes, what? understood. So now you ask the question: What you are okay. as a technical person means? Ah, uh, okay. Now I understood. Uh, so the capacity of the uh, uh, what if the capacity of the logical is increasing? Okay, mm. uh, and mm. if it is not uh, meeting the current. Uh, situation so mm-hmm. how do we handle this can we have a two different logical on one particular on one physical layer okay yes i can say but you are again not defining precisely as a technical hold let me share with you this is one okay. physical hardware server mm-hmm. let us assume i have i have 100 gigabit capacity mm-hmm. So first physical uh, logical resource is my bandwidth. Correct. And second logical resource is my, let us assume 16 gigabit RAM. 16 G RAM in my server because it helps in processing. Yeah. Virtual memory. That's right. What is my third CPU processing power? Hmm. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So this three, my logical resource logical resource where on my physical resource on the physical resource correct so total four things i have to cons- yeah. anything mm-hmm. could slow down your uh, your performance correct so being a sme subject matter expert or technical person i need to explore down which one having problem okay which one has the mm-hmm. so drill down the problem okay okay now one by one because now four things that means permutation combination of four things hmm. problem could occur with permutation combination of four things yeah if your logical resources consumed 90 percent hmm. logical resources consumed 90 percent hmm. what will be the approach what will be the approach we need to check the capacity first on what capacity it is see if we are logical uh, resources consumed 90 percent 90 percent yes so our statement will be like that every application while installing in cell phone or desktop or server it consumes some logical resource correct yes yes and we by default it allocates some resource resource yes here in the configuration portion where we allocate more for example by default it is acquiring 10 gig space in database mm-hmm. But during configuration, I allocated 50 gigabit out of 100. Mm. Right? Reserve it. You don't reserve it. Okay. Reserve okay. it for your database. Mm-hmm. Although I'm running with 10 gig. So once okay. I reached on 50, I reached mm-hmm. 45. That means I start overloading. Yes. 100% consumption is not there. It starts loading means after 70 to 75% alarms getting raised up. Raised up. Household stays. Correct. So you, you are checking your physical resource. Uh, on the physical resource, you will check first your logical resource. Resource. So you yeah. came to know, okay, I have 100 gigabit. Mm-hmm. What you will do? You don't require log- physical resource. Only with help configuration, you will allocate 100 now. 
This is your first observation and solution. Again, situation come where your 100 gigabit exhausted because day by day, billions of records alarms are generating. So every bytes are getting consumed in your uh, hard disk. The day will come when 100 gigabit is finished. Hmm. So what will be the next point? Next point is your okay. server is consumed. You require another server. No, another server. Okay, I think uh, my question was not right. So my question was simple. It was like, uh, I wanted to know the capacity of my physical layer okay which is already existing with 16 gb and cpu processing and mm. and i have a logical capacity on some of the let's say knock itself i have mm. uh, where 50 percent of the G, uh, gigabytes has been consumed the capacity has been consumed mm. what if i try to get another let's say i'm trying to do another transition on on sock uh, will i be able to do it on that so on the resource yes i will be uh, on the reserve i will be able to do it what if it is not reserve and mm -hmm. what my logical is <coughs> what my logical is actually uh what do you say uh going That's beyond the limitation mm -hmm. is over. going beyond mm -hmm. uh, logical is uh, 50 50 gigs is already over so definitely mm -hmm. it is it needs another at least a 10 gb okay mm -hmm. but but when when i'm talking to the customer i'm saying okay i already have 50 gb and mm -hmm. i can actually do this this is the configuration which i'm giving it to the customer mm -hmm. okay so so will there be any problem if i do uh, if i do another uh, configuration of another what do you say services okay i'm coming on this here is one catch point hmm. you have server 1 hmm. installing already application mm -hmm. 100 gig okay correct this is exhausted so i connected another server having 100 gig mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that i will run another application over here only i will extend the database that's it oh, okay nms will run over here only okay so only up, on application or instance of application is only one, but your database in a load balancing manner is distributed. Oh, so your decentralized database. Have you heard? Okay. Oh, yes, yes. So NMS is only one, but only mm. your database is decentralized, having load balancer and connected balance. with each other. Yes. Yes. With help of, uh, have you heard Red Five, Red Nine, Red Ten? Yes, I have heard, but I'm I'm not. Uh... Okay. Ah, uh, we don't need to go into depth, but yes. Mm -hmm. So concern is, you need to check it out. NMS application mm -hmm. instance will be only one. Another server doesn't mean that you are going to another instance. Yes, database instance is going to another one. This is way now that your management says, okay, right now I don't have fund. I don't have capex. Being a technical person, you show me the way how to do that with the existing. Mm. Yes, generally we got this type of call from management. Yeah, that is common. That is common. Yeah. Yes. Um, any any new any new transition business, this is common. <laughs> yes. So you put your some analysis and let me know what is the way another way out. So in such cases, uh, uh, first thing, uh, if I'm first I, first if I'm getting a new business. I, I will see, uh, see, this is the existing business. I know it from, uh, if I do a benchmark on it, I know okay. for like last four, five years, what is the amount of, uh, what, what are the, what are the alerts? What are the alarms I've got on what basis? So yeah. if I'm getting a new business, I will at least try to say, okay, 50 if, with the existing 50 GB. I know 10 GB is going to get con uh, consumed for with the, with the reserve 50 GB. I know mm -hmm. 10 GB is going to get uh, consumed for my existing business. Mm -hmm. So with 40 GB, I will try to see uh, what I can fit in uh, for the uh, for the new project. Uh -huh. Okay, and and I know I know uh, I may have committed with customer that 50 GB is the reserve, and uh -huh. I will uh, I will make sure nothing goes wrong. So uh -huh. if I have to go beyond that, definitely I will have to go with another server where uh -huh. uh, like uh, I, where I will, will take a uh, with the help of load balancer. I will try to uh -huh. see uh, how I can accumulate. Correct, correct. So. <clears throat> this is fine, but another efficient way is like you explained four or five years, you know already. Mm -hmm. Every time some data is spillover, that is after a long period of time, that is irrelevant. For example, any logs you have stored from last five years and customer gone, years. customer gone or discarded the services or logs. What you will do, you check you your archive it. Yes, archive. You clear it, 
with help of this uh, report server inventory report in a report okay. we okay uh, fetch me five years old records yes we do that clear okay. at least that way you can remove at least you you will get 10 gb extra so that you can convey the management okay boss i'm ready to do but yes i can survive six months one year only but after one year you should be ready again now I will not able to manage technically. Ah, oh, understood. Best talk, but best talk. Here, here, mm-hmm. here is a catch, sir. Okay, here is a catch. Okay. Mm. So I actually, when you're saying get rid of those old data based on customer mm. is there or not, mm. we are going to keep it. Let's say if tomorrow there is an audit. Okay. Let's mm. say if tomorrow there is a telecom audit. Mm. Definitely, they might ask me. Okay, when did the program start and what is? How did you? If they ask us like archive, I may have it for like one year or six or six months or one year, whatever is the period. Uh-huh. But I have to move it somewhere, right? I have to keep it. It's not that I'm going to remove it. Uh-huh. Customer will not be okay with that, right? So yes, answer is rather than deploying any external hardware, expensive hardware server, because you need only data storage, correct? Data storage, yes. Simple, simple desktop PC where use bandwidth hard disk is there. So we moved, we move our database from last two years dump <coughs> to the new hard disk on the new FTP server. That is FTP server, file transport okay. protocol. Protocol. Uh-huh. Yes. So there we don't require same configurational or capacity NMS server. We require simple FTP desk, desktop kind of thing where it's a big hard disk is deployed there we can transfer the data for again two years five years sir again if you look at it now mm. how we have our outlook and all ostpst issues mm. so let's say i'm using this laptop today and all of a sudden they give me a I am using HP laptop and tomorrow they give me a Dell laptop and Correct. they are completely, they are not even doing any backup out of it and mm-hmm. tomorrow it's not, uh, nothing is archived on my uh, laptop or on my PST. So mm-hmm. if I need the same PST on another laptop, okay, mm-hmm. how, what, if, what if I don't get it, what everything is new and I'm losing a lot of uh, data over there. So in this case, you will transfer it to a new to new hardware, new new hardware, hard disk. But, but sir, well, I do, I, I'm just asking out of uh, the curiosity. No, no, please, please. Because it's a, it's a million of data, right? It's a million of data. I know, mm-hmm. see, we have come business, see, my uh, where I worked, the company is there existing for like last 30 years. Mm-hmm. So starting from the day one till today, definitely they have every data. And mm. some have got deleted also. I'm not saying no to it because I have seen in my own eyes where mm. people couldn't do a proper archiving. Uh, that mm. archiving nature was not happening properly. Mm. Just because we lost the business and some actually lost it. But when during the audit, okay, the custom, I mean, when the auditor comes in and he asks only for the first thing is like, what were the business there in the last five years? So I will tell, okay, these were the my accounts, which were account uh, dedicated, shared. Mm. And uh, this this was the period the account was there. What if he actually looks at it and say, okay, where is this data? And uh, there is no log at all. Then directly mm. it's a non-conformity. I, I'm going, uh, see, I'm not uh, taking you from the auditor's point. I'm just mm. saying, mm. Now, now we have cloud, people are moving it to cloud and all. I understand that part. Mm. Mm. We can increase, increase the gigs and uh, whatever you want you can just just create one area and where okay you archive certain amount of mm. data but mm. what about the previous like you're saying hard disk you need to have so many hard disks where mm. you will be moving it if the hard mm. disk is corrupted hard disk is corrupted huh? that's why i asked you have you heard red file red file red file red file raid red file raid right mm. database protection hardware failure standards is always there so they are on the virtualization technique right yeah mi- mirroring Image is always getting created. So there are always two hard disks. At the same time, within the one server, there are two hard disks in a one plus one mode. So one will fail, another will take over. Okay, okay. So you're saying there also you have like uh, backup for a backup, you have another backup. Backup of backup of backup. Servers are coming like that way. Or uh, like you said, mirror, mirror way. Once you're going to buy a server, they will ask you. What extender you want? Red five, red six, red seven. Mm-hmm. No, no, I'm sorry if I if I'm actually mm-hmm. no, 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 that is fine. Stupid question. Ah, nothing, stupid nothing. Question. That is fine. Look, no, no, I don't know uh, much about the telecom part. Not, uh-huh. not from the telecom. No issue, no issue. You, in, in you raise any question. Look, what is the fundamental difference? Both are same. Simply, I have one hard disk here, one hard disk here, one one mode. 
Okay. No, because we yeah. we had a major issue like this. Okay, uh, it was initially when I uh, like joined the this, company. This is my primary. This is my secondary. Hmm. Correct. So first hmm. primary is data is getting stored. Once hmm. data is stored and sync, then one mirror image is getting copied over here. Okay. Okay. Within a server, this is nothing separate. Hmm. Now this is consumed hundred percent. Hmm. Then I want another server. I want another server, same primary and secondary. So here, mm. not say primary and secondary. I will say one plus one more. Mirror image. Okay. So okay. once yeah, I will, image, yes. yeah. So I will forward my data seventy out of hundred gig. Seventy gig I will transfer mm. over here. Mm -hmm. And same mirror image will copy it over here. And accessing this, I will not access this via this NMS. I will access this via another in a OSS portal. There is a report server hmm. with help of FTP protocol. FTP protocol. Yes. So, but technically, <laughs> technically, I can access via this as well. But in this case, my NMS will be loaded again. Look, mm. some analytics based on stored data over here. Correct. Mm. Why should I disturb him? I should execute command here in this database only. Correct. So get the analytics and forward the report to the management. I should not get the report via this way. Mm -hmm. The strategy is to maintain an efficient operation where every day data volumes are getting grow growing hmm. so these are the oss or nms practices okay okay let him in look whatever you can do separately you can do in nms nms has hmm. so nms is a grandfather he can do anything anything yeah yeah he has the functionality but let him do let him do only data collection and control mm -hmm. inventory Mm -hmm. Inventory and physical inventory. Okay. Okay. This is a thumb. No, I'm so, so sorry if I'm asking. No, 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 don't question. worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. So no, no, I, I, I didn't understand the uh, some logical thing. That's why I wanted to. End of the day, look what I am saying. This is my language. You can say like, don't. Maybe I remember some terminology. I forgot. Sometime I am not in practice. I I forgot. Not enough. Mm -hmm. my, but if I see the picture, if I talk to anybody, if I close my eyes, everything should be visible. Visible. Yeah. Physical. Once you will be able to visualize physical inventory connectivity signal flow, you can explain every Anything. single yeah. section. Like, give you example. You asked me one question. Okay, my NMS server is getting slow. Performance Correct. is getting slow. So, as a normal one year, two year engineer, that they are writing this line, that is fine. But as a subject matter expert, I, uh, understood. I need to yeah, do yeah. the drill down. Which portion? Correct. 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 So now I not like a L1, L2 guy. You have to be like mm. L5 guy, where you have to actually explain it in a right way. Yes. <laughs> Understood. They, they will create a ticket, they will forward. Correct, correct, correct. If it is we who will actually find it in the right way to see, uh, we do a complete analysis to understand yes. which area actually got affected. Like when you, when you get, it's like, uh, it should be a tip of uh, the finger. Like, okay, when you know there is some issue, Okay, let's see if this is the issue. Understood. Mm -hmm. right. So, so that means you should know the physical inventory, connectivity, and signal right. and signal flow. Understood. Signal flow is nothing. It's a it's a path. It's a path. Okay. Like I draw old record. Why you want to come via this path via NMS? Create another application, a smaller application. Who will do the SQL and Oracle command execution and fetch the report? Correct. So this is called path selection. Mm -hmm. so you should know this. So I hope now you can yes sir yes sir that's very clear see here in this even in this slide what the data from initial days all database they separated yeah yeah inventory service right. provision yes performance dedicated application here dedicated application here dedicated bandwidth application here hundred here hundred here bifurcated they they yes. are 
ideally be bifurcated but it but it is under one oss uh, dedicated layer yes yes so mm -hmm. your operation should be efficient because you plan the network at least for five years you can't twist amend or change in every year mm -hmm. understood for this uh, any management application you mm -hmm. you can do this type of activities let it be 2g okay. 4g or broadband services voice video all you can mm -hmm. manage topology sitting on knock or mm -hmm. like as plan network management end to end management fault management performance management inventory management so inventory means logical and physical both logical and physical. Mm -hmm. uh, security means sock management and nbi is basically for intercommunication intercommunication management management between different correct, layers. Correct, so all correct. so nms has all these functionalities even rather than doing in a one server you can do the separate 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 application and you can uh, integrate it so all mm -hmm. this depends on the volume what volume you are going to handle as a subject matter expert or at the time of fault handling separately you need to check it out what process what module they are taking how much time how much processing they are consuming mm -hmm. so i hope this portion is clear yeah yeah See, database how we are transferring database we are discussing this server mm -hmm. it is one kernel mm -hmm. storage yeah so database ma either manually or scheduled one to do every Correct. for every month you can plan like a quarter every quarter automatic yeah automatic backup mm -hmm. yes on a server you write a command you leave this command, yes <clears throat> this one voice video data they are connected with mm -hmm. this network end to end mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is network element layer at the bottom yeah yeah that is controlled by nms mm. can you show that slide again yes one Oh, this one, okay, okay. Northbound inter. No, no, I was just reading that northbound interface and all that. Okay. This slide is important for you. This one. What application? What server? They are controlling. So total five XML, M2C, Corba, SNMP, SNMP, text one. file, mm -hmm. TL one. Thirty HTTPS, SSL, FTP, SSH. Mm -hmm. So all this while you planning any OSS, BSS or any NMS, so you can configure or you can facilitate in the application or you can guide the developer because look, developer knows only coding, correct? As a solution, mm -hmm. that you are, you know how to do the configuration and all that you don't know, but you know which section we need to what so you can mm -hmm. the developer okay i want here this section you develop this portion like you can guide okay mm -hmm. and sbi snmp v3 you code for snmp v3 so he will do the coding for snmp v3 this one question was out of xml corba tl1 when to use what protocol when to use what protocol mm -hmm. here in xml the simple thumb rule you remember where is the ip devices even layer 2 or layer 1 as per osi layer 1 layer not layer 1 layer 2 or layer 3 uh, layer 2 layer 2 layer 2 and layer 2 three. or layer 3 this is xml correct correct corba layer 1 because sds layer 1 PM. yesterday we discussed sdh wdm otn all mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One correct. So one, layer one. one at Corba. Corba. Thumb rule. Industry thumb rule. IP device is XML. So wherever you are going, any discussion, client discussion in a 4G or 5G. So you know 4G and 5G is the pure IP. Yeah. 2G is I. 2G is TDM. E1. So E1 means we required Corba. E1 means layer one. SDH layer one. So we required Corba. But if you are going somewhere in discussion for a 4G and 5G, we'll talk about only XML, not the Corba. You got this line? Could you please repeat that, sir? All IP device, all mm -hmm. IP device, that mm -hmm. means layer 2 or layer 3 is XML mm -hmm. as per OSI. Mm -hmm. This is layer 1. So wherever 2G talks mm -hmm. about Corba, wherever 4G and 5G, this is XML. Mm -hmm. Later on, we will discuss why yeah, yeah. layer 2 or layer 3. Because 4G or 5G is purely IP. IP mm -hmm. packet. 2G is not the IP packet. 2G is TDM. Time division multiplexing. Okay. How about 3G? 3G also comes in Corba? It's a mixed scenario. Sometimes XML scenario. Okay. Sometimes XML also. Depends on customer to customer. Mm -hmm. See this one. Right hand side, first you check it out this network network architecture. This is mixed of IP and TDM both. Mm. 2G, 3G, 4G. Look, 
core network, access network, you can't deploy separately for 2G, separately for 4G, separately for 5G or separately mm-hmm. for broadband. Mm-hmm. Network is only one. On top of this, everything is running like a MSAN with the same equipment. Mm-hmm. So here, this WDM, which layer it is? WDM. WDM is in uh, layer 2. Layer 0, optical. Uh, uh, WDM, okay. Layer 0, yes. optical. Mm-hmm. DWDM, sorry. Mm-hmm. Yes, router. Layer 3. Yeah, layer three. And here internet, some switches are there. So layer two. Okay, layer two, yeah. And some multiplexers, layer one. Layer one. So all are mix of layer one, layer two, layer three, layer zero, four layers are there. Hmm. Four layers are there. So check Mm -hmm. it out, services are running and going towards here in this case. So this is my? SBI or NBI? SBI. So SNMP? Yeah. Generally, thumb rule. SBI always SNMP. Here, why XML? Because this is mix of layer 2, layer 3. So Correct, correct. XML. This is my NBI. XML. NBI. And depends on the volume. You can make a separate servers or one server or more than one server like that. So got this one? Yeah. So this is mm-hmm. finally this one. What we discussed till now. Network architecture. Servers, application, knock and soft. End-to-end physical and logical connectivity. Okay, okay. So this is same slide we discussed already. Yeah, this is the first time, yeah. Now you can correlate till now what we discussed with this. Mm-hmm. So here, the backhauling once we say it's a core and aggregation connectivity in terms of broadband 2G, 3G and 4G, we will discuss. So now moving towards this actual hardware. Name could be anything like uh, here, if you can ch- check it out, CX600, ATN. Name could be anything from different, different vendor, but actual hardware that will play the ro- role as per the capacity. You do remember just now before break, we were discussing physical and logical inventory. Yes. Physical as per the capacity, bigger chassis, bigger hardware we required. So core, bigger bandwidth, so bigger chassis, you can check it out. Aggregation, mid-size, access is the last mile, so smaller size. BTS is 2G, Node B is 3G, LTE is 4G. VPN, GE, Gigabit, Ethernet. So all this voice video data on the same network, we can carry to the BSC and RNC or you can say POP. So check it out here. In this case, on the same infrastructure, this is my layer one. So layer one requires for this 2G connectivity. Yeah. Channelize STM1 or Ethernet, FE or Gigi. So this is my layer two. Mm-hmm. This is 3G. Mm-hmm. Or this one is my layer two or layer three. 4G and 5G, yeah. Yes. Vimax. We mm. use Vimax. Yeah, Vimax. Mm. <laughs> like very expensive <laughs> <laughs> nowadays not using people <laughs> they, we use only WiMAX in Japan <laughs> yes, yes, these, yes. Uh, pocket pocket Wi-Fi yes earlier it was like that but nowadays that is also like uh, they say unlimited uh, for hmm. 3 days it is 7 GB hmm. for 7 GB your speed will go down Okay, so you can check it out. This one connectivity. Uh, once I say on the same platform, 2G, 3G, 4G, broadband, all are on the same platform with the characterization of aggregation core and access layering mm-hmm. of infrastructure. And this all are network element layer. Yeah. Any layer? Network yes. element layer. Element layer. Yes, so this is layer one out of five layer as per TML. Hmm. So this all are customer traffic, not the management. All are customer, customer traffic. traffic. Yes, on top of this, there will be some management NMS. NMS. So every 
one will be connected to the NMS, like yes. visual that way. Yeah, yeah, like we saw in the previous pictures. Hmm. Yes, and so this will so this will be my SBI or NBI. Yeah, SBI. SVI, SVI. Yes, with help of SNMP. Hmm, SNMP. So see this one connectivity. So converged network. Now I say, did you remember day one I shared with you earlier? IT was different and telecom was different. Now telecom was different. Yes. Together it is. So now it's a ICT. Converged. ICT. Yes. Yes. So that's why everything is converged. IT and plus telecom both is a nowadays it's a one one industry and cloud so anybody says where data you're installed where data is stored where it is going now you can predict is this a statement is correct no i don't know where it is gone <laughs> as cloud yes you can't sell yes as a layman that is fine but now mm -hmm. as a network architect you can easily yeah. find out where this data gone means mm -hmm. somewhere is a physical logic resources is there some logical resources is there yeah, yeah. Geographical reason may you predict maybe right or wrong, but yes, somewhere it is stored. Mm -hmm. Maybe India, maybe US, maybe in another country that we don't know. That also we can know with help of IP and all network architecture. Yeah. We know. See how they are getting connected. Ma Evan, did you remember Evan? Mm -hmm. We discuss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even Ethernet PDH. one. Yes. Hmm. Uh, did you remember? Have you heard this PPP partnership? 3G PPP. Have you heard? Uh, PG, uh, P, uh, pretty good privacy. No, no, partnership. Uh, what was this? PGP, what? right? PGP is pretty good privacy, sir. It is, uh, it is globally, it is PGP only. Yes, PGP. So, same way they are getting connected. IP uh, and PGP or PPP? Uh, can you please? Uh... Oh, I also got connected. This is PPP. Partnership, private partnership for mobile mobile development. Oh, okay, okay. I was okay, okay, okay. Here it is written MLPPP. Oh no, 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 no. no PGP, I know. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry. So they are explaining simply connect in terms of this uh, how to proceed. Now it's this one backhauling. Once I say backhauling, so my concern is to know physical connectivity that is fine, but for you, what interface connectivity where to where? that you need to understand okay for the osi okay, only okay. you will be able to predict the signal flow signal enters in mm. layer once crossing uh, any active portion as per mm. osi what in encapsulation and protocols is going on then only you will be able to diagnose the diagnose the signal flow signal flow mm. you see how it is changed over here in this case yeah yeah, yeah. can you go back to the pre previous one was, uh, <laughs> i see a little difference no not this one the ppp pp was not written there okay i removed that one this was not no it was there ml ppp ah oh, this is this one is this... yeah this one this one yeah this one and then you were showing me the fifth one yeah. you were asking me on the fifth one yeah mm. okay and okay from here we need to understand well the actual layers mm -hmm. on physical connectivity, first top of mm -hmm. there is a physical connectivity. This has mm -hmm. converted into a services. So we okay. identify what layer services it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So let us start from here, here to here. Yeah. One. Here, mm -hmm. even because this is 2G. 2G. So this is my TDM, even my layer one. E1. Hmm. This is again 3G is the E1. So this is my layer one. Hmm. IP Ethernet. This is my FE, fast Ethernet. FE, fast Ethernet. Hmm. So this is my layer two. Two. Yes. Now layer two layer two layer two because this is gigabit hmm. correct yeah here we are passing tdm that means passing layer one yeah this is layer one and this is my layer layer three sorry this is again my layer three layer two that is layer two which one 
3G. Layer 2 or layer 3, anyone you can pass it. Okay. Pseudo wires. Have you heard pseudo wires? Have you pseudo heard? what? Pseudo wires. Tunnel. No, no. Pseudo wire and tunnel. Basically, emulated circuit. So you don't know, uh, don't enter in this word, but only from this slide, what uh, I request you to understand section wise as per the OSI layer you need to find out. Let it be server, let it be any device. If you understood OSI layer zero to layer four conversion and protocols, you can decode any signal, signal flow and, and construct of the path. So here mm -hmm. in this same thing, passing layer one, layer one, then coming out layer one, coming out layer one, coming out layer two. So one number rule is whatever receiver is sending same format at the end I should receive. In between you can change it or pass it as it is. Mm. See, receiver and sender should be at the same understanding. Transition yeah. can do anything. Understood. That flexibility you have. This is the major thumb line. Mm -hmm. Correct. This is little bit mix of uh, exchange office like MSC and BSC. What is MSC? BSC we will discuss in detail. Mobile connectivity, mobile processing office, mobile signal process. It is written L3, L3 VPN, pseudo or L3 VPN, P, Ethernet, E1, TDM, passing it on this cloud backbone, cloud backbone. So combination of layer one, layer two, and layer three, layer one, layer two, and layer three, carrying the mobile signal. So again, we will come later on. Right now, I am demonstrating you for your references only. After discussion of 2G, 3G, 4G connectivity, we will come back. So first, you can visualize this one. Yeah. Maybe some some terms you don't understand right immediately, but no worry. We will discuss. No problem. Yeah. You understand VLAN? Yes. Virtual LAN. Yeah. Yeah. So virtual LAN or VLAN. For any backhauling, for any backhauling, we require clock distribution, sync, synchronization. You know synchronization? Yes. What do you mean? Any any understanding? Please share. Uh, synchronization in the sense like uh, when uh, when we actually uh, let's say I have an alarm set on particular servers mm -hmm. or particular let's say Splunk itself. Splunk itself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And uh, I have yeah I have a synchron. Uh, how do I do this? Is like when we configure it with our uh, ticketing tool, uh, we see uh, one basic thing I can talk about is uh, with the timeline. So customer might be working in a specific standard time where I need to have uh, his time as I mean, uh, we have to do as per his uh, requirement, not mm -hmm. that uh, with our not that with our uh, timing, because if I'm working for US, UK, uh, any other continent, any other continent, or any other region, we mm -hmm. have to accept, uh, we have to go in their way. So it has to do that complete proper synchronization. If there is, uh, if there is a miss uh, or like, well, of a minute also, we may actually get into a major escalation or major issue. Okay, you define this is basically a clock time stamping. Mm -hmm. Time stamping, yes. Yes, I'm not talking about time stamping. I'm talking about synchronization of the signals. Okay. In a 5G or 4G, this synchronization play major role. 90% problem in a 5G is the synchronization only. So um, now understand what is synchronization. <laughs> See, my, I was trying to tell from the timestamp and the database, uh, like mm -hmm. uh, how uh, I think you understood that part. Mm -hmm. Time stamping, that is fine. Nothing wrong you explained, but this is uh, one component of uh, one component of synchronization. They okay, are okay. No, I mm -hmm. one is time understood, and another understood. is frequency. Another is frequency. Frequency. Yes. If mm -hmm. I'm saying like in our laptop or cell phone, they are coming in like a, in a gigahertz processing power correct correct gigahertz so basically they are frequencies so signal processing if anything goes wrong because ultimately it's all running on active portion in a virtual memory then a virtual memory if any cycle goes disturbed that signal may take more time to get processed within the equipment hmm. correct so that's why we are making a sync for example in a smaller network no issue but if i am crossing from one continent to another continent so time zones are different traveling time are different so that's why we need a one global position system that is gps nowadays you know you know already mm -hmm. we are using our cell phone gps yeah yeah yes so from satellites we are linking syncing all global networks so this is the synchronization all the portions should be synced 
all components all active parts yeah 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 how we have our infrastructure services like our managed services and all all the uh, it's not uh, if if we have a particular uh, service or particular mm. uh, what do you say database messaging or let it be anything so they mm. all have to be synced together and work it's not like they are working in a different layer or different uh, groups correct correct so clock solutions so here we will not discuss clock solutions but you need to understand yes there is a clock synchronization from a gps we are maintaining how they are you remember we discussed protection if one path is down another path will be activated that is that uh, while talking about the failover right yes 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 so right for today any query or any question you can please ask or we can repeat uh, no 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 as of now nothing thank you thank, thank you, you deepak thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel